you guys have any rituals or mantras for when things get really intense and pressure, whether it's like pre-race or when you have to a big event? I wouldn't say it's a pre-race um, like ritual, but I always wear the shin guards. I don't know why I feel naked without them. It sounds stupid when you're like in a crop top and neutral. Oh, yeah, because I wear compression socks that train in most like yeah. winter sessions because I train in Manchester, it's pretty cold. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel really naked without them, so <laughs> I don't think I'd want to race without them now. It sounds weird, but yeah. Well, I yeah. like to um, catch up with Jen Savage. Do you? Yeah, that's like one But yeah, so like when it's like lead up to the champs or something, I like to have like a 20 minute session with her and she just helps you like relax, clear your mind and just focus. How strict are you with diet? I know you've been talking about McDonald's and <laughs> that's obviously after a race. Normally, yeah. yeah. I, I think like I put on weight really fast, so I'm, yeah, I'm pretty good with what I eat now. It's just more about consistency, like consistently eating well rather than being like super strict. Yeah. So, and I think having like the occasional cheat day has got to be done for like motivation and yeah. to keep eating well. But yeah, I just kind of cook everything myself. So yeah. I don't really cut out anything, but I make sure like I know what's going on. So. What sort of gets you through the hard sessions? I hate getting to the track and not know what I'm going to do. Yeah. <laughs> I, have, I have it all ready. I know exactly what I'm, get, what oh, I'm doing okay. on the day. But when you're having a look at your schedule and like, you're left there. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of like, if I do this now, I know that I'll get a good result from it. So yeah, just push through it, really. I'm kind of the opposite. I don't really like to know what my coach has planned for the weeks, but like, I don't know. I can't, I'm kind of, you'll like hint towards what session it might be, but you won't like specify yeah. certain things, but I don't know. I'm, I've got quite a short attention span, so I kind of like to just turn up <laughs> yeah, yeah. and then focus on what I've got to do. But and what about if you could do any other track event that wasn't your own? I always joke that I only do the four because I'm not going to do the two, so. <laughs> No, I d yeah, it'd probably be the two, or the one and two, yeah. I, I watched like Daryl and the other girls, I'm like, I literally yeah. I don't know how you move that quickly. <laughs> how do you cope with nerves? Because yeah. that's like one of my biggest things. Yeah. Like, I'm not allowed to get nervous until I'm on your marks. Yeah. Like, there's no point getting nervous throughout the day. Yeah, yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. But even that's still a bad time to get nervous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know, controlling nerves, I think. It's a big personality type thing, but... Um, I don't know, I just kind of give myself distractions. I don't do like anything particularly different on race day. Like, just there, like watch TV on my laptop and stuff. Like, yeah. kind of treat it like any oh, other so day. Do you find it's harder to race after a really good performance or a really back like, performance you weren't happy with? Running badly, you're going to be really angry, actually. That's probably how I, how I perform. Because yeah. I remember in the Diamond League in Birmingham, the week before trials, I didn't run at how I wanted to run. And I went home and I was really upset. And I was really angry. But no, Charles, I'm going to do what I can do. Yeah, yeah and maybe it'll push you. Yeah. Sometimes it is for me to race after a bad race because yeah. I didn't open up like what I wanted to open up with at all. And then I, my next, I had some exams and my next race was here actually, uh, the Birmingham Diamond League. And I was like, I'm not going to run slow again. Like, yeah, I think, I think just. Yeah, sometimes it is hard to run well after you've run well because you have like even higher expectations yeah. of yourself. Yeah.